Alright guys, this is the 21st hired request of the 2016 fall list. I'm trying to get at least one of these uploaded per day. And uh, this one is called uh, Mera Parivar and by Heather Luttrell. And someone hired me to do this one. And here it is. So we're going to do two measures of it. It sounds like this. on beyond that but anyway all the lessons for this can be found on my website webpianoteacher.com uh, look me up on Facebook just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and uh, you'll see what new lessons I'm uploading and what's new for the site but anyway we're gonna do uh, the part one here which we're gonna do two measures you see at the top of the board there So uh, we'll start with left hand. There, there's a little note here, and you'll see in part two there's some other little notes. That's because those little notes are played on one of the repeats. So don't worry about them yet. Just play the big notes. All right, we start with a D chord in the left hand. D, A, D. So 5, 2, 1. Then the right hand will come in. F sharp, A. And you'll notice in this one, the right and left hand really are dependent on each other for the rhythm. So you won't get a whole lot out of playing, trying to play hands separately in this. It might be more confusing to you if you do that uh, because it's usually you know left and then right uh, and they, they take over the rhythm from one another and they're really intertwined. So it might be one of those that you just learn how hands together from the very beginning. But one and two and three and the left hand keeps going A, D and then F sharp with the right. So one and two and three and four and and mostly it's just straight eighth notes all the way through. Sometimes there's a sometimes there's a held quarter note. One and two and three and four and one. For this next, really the next measure here, it's F sharp A D, that's a whole D chord. I'll use one, two, five, play it again. Then that next chord is an F sharp minor. F sharp A, C sharp, I'll use one, two, four for that one. Then an F sharp on the thumb. Left hand goes D, A, D, A, and then it'll play just one C sharp here, but it's really just, you know, a, a melodic eighth note here that's attached to the next right hand note. Okay, so from here it's one and two and left, right, left, right. And you want to hear da, da, da. So kind of bring out the right hand. So that we don't hear all this, da, 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 just kind of let that flow underneath. And we'll get to the next measure in just a moment. Let's try the first box again. One, two, three. Now we're on the next measure, F sharp minor. Here's one of those times where there's an F sharp here in the middle. It could either be played with the left hand or the right, and either one is fine. I can't really uh, guess what the performer's doing, but I put it in the right hand, but you're welcome to put those F sharps in the left if you want. Because you can go, might be easier for some of you, so feel free to move that F sharp to the left hand if that's more comfortable for you. But anyway, the notes are C sharp in the right, middle C sharp, and then F sharp A, F sharp A and C sharp together, F sharp A, left hand I just have F sharp C sharp. So one. If you have trouble voicing the melody, you might want to play the F sharp on the left. So you'd have, you know, and, and uh, either way is equally, uh, you know, difficult if, you, if it's difficult at all for you. Um, personal choice there. So from the very beginning, let's do both measures, D chord, F sharp minor chord. Ready, go. One, two, three. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that.